Hi everybody, Radical Gardener. Well, we, here's all that uh, hot weather we've been uh, really hoping for and it's just been terrific. In Southeast Michigan, uh, today is Monday, I think the 1st of July, right? Okay, so um, everything's just going wackadoodle and of course, all that rain in the beginning uh, really uh, helped uh, you know just to get it going and then the Sun showed up it could have showed up a little bit sooner but you know everything's really um, flourishing and growing and producing um, I have changed my mind about some things and you know what I think are the real the real growers and what I will order uh, next year uh, on the cabbage it is definitely the uh, Katiana um, it's just fantastic. I will put a list below of what I love so far. I've changed my mind about the Tom Thumbs from Baker Creek. Um, they're a great looking plant, but they don't produce anywhere near like the plant that uh, those old seeds I had, which were, um, I think they were called snow peas. They're yellow and they had uh, purple flowers. I'm gonna do a search for them on the internet but I am in the process of saving the seeds now I have about 50 of those seeds so um, definitely those are going to be my seeds for next year um, let's see what else did I really love uh, let's see oh that that Russian lettuce that's a keeper the strawberry spinach that's a keeper uh, let's see um, of course the uh, I love those uh, the purple carrots but there's another now I can't think of it uh, carrot that I got from uh, territorial seeds that is really giving the uh, purple carrots a run for their money uh, the wild fennel that I got from the Italian the Italian seeds uh, now about the Italian seeds not a fan I gotta tell you everything that I planted struggled uh, the basil uh, that did well wasn't the Italian um, wasn't the Italian one that was the Baker Creek. I have not had a lot of luck with the Italian seeds except for the wild fennel and that's really fantastic. I also grow uh, quinoa again uh, and I got both of those from Baker Creek and those are just off the hook. All the beans um, are all coming up at about the same rate but I don't know what's going to be the big producers I planted probably God, how many different kinds nine different kinds of beans so you know uh, time will tell in the next month and a half I'll know what really was the big producer uh, let's see what else um, of course my rhubarb always does really well so um, we're going to go through the garden. It looks completely different than the last time uh, I showed it to you. It is just, it, it's really the best it's ever looked. Um, of course, I've, I've worked on it harder this year than I've ever worked on gardening. A lot of that is due uh, to my just feeling so good and, you know, C60. Um, and a lot of other things that I'm doing. You know, and I'm combining iodine with my C60, but that is really a game changer too. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to be working on herbs today and uh, I've got a few more I want to plant, a couple of pots I want to empty. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so let me turn this around. Okay. Of course, there's, he's got something on in his yard. Okay, so you can see here, these are the, these are the Tom Thumbs and you know, they, they're really slowing down in production. I didn't get that many off of them in the meantime that wall of peas I had over there which is now uh, gone and I've got zucchini planted in its place and the reason I've got zucchini in there now uh, is because it's a heavy feeder and the uh, the peas are are they put nutrients into the ground so it's a really uh, nice way of planting and paying attention to what's going on sorry I just got a little sidetracked there um, okay catnip of course onions are huge um, growing just in a plastic bucket the this is uh, you can see I'm aphids so uh, uh, again I'm gonna be <laughs> dealing with that that's on my list um, yeah you can see it just looks spectacular look what I scored you guys an old bird bath that somebody didn't want anymore and they gave to me 
Yes, siree. I got a bird bath and it's awesome. It looks fantastic there. You can see baby Bertha's coming too. Hey, look at this. You know, the tree that has no name. Now it's fourth year and it's got little berries on it. How amazing is this plant? All right, and then underneath it, I have my bamboo, very slow growing. He seems to just kind of stay there. The beautiful plant and put in flowers. So now we have some flowers in all amidst all this greenery, which will spread a bit. And yeah, <laughs> little Ariel, she just keeps plugging along my little apple tree. Um, the quinoa you can see is just exploding. So um, I'll tell you about how I've got my days structured and what I'm going to do what. Um, these peas are ready to really be pulled. I'll be putting herbs in these smaller pots. So that's what's going on there. The trumpet vine back there is really going to town. Okay, so uh, coming around this way, I took a little time and did a little arty thing on my, on my table because that's how I... I like to do things. All right. <laughs> Ellie, our elephant plant that was really struggling. You can see now she's really doing well. Okay. Um, I also, a lot of my flowers were just biting it. So I'm taking a different tactic now. I put in perennials and we'll pull them out in two months and put them out on the curb. And those are bluebells, and that's pompous grass. <laughs> so it'll only be in there for a couple months. Um, the cabbage, you can see it's balling up nicely. Can you see that? Yeah. You can see there's we're getting a few little bugs biting here. So I have to get in here tomorrow morning and really start fighting back. Little assholes. <laughs> okay. All right, and then some of my herbs. Um, also, this is... Uh, it's like a red grass, and this is called Flory Glory, and I'm going to be putting this out on the curb once I pull it out of the pots. Uh, the raspberries are looking fantastic. I'm going to put in a fourth one. Um, here come the sweet peppers, right? So the, those got in late, but you know, we had a cold start, and Big Bertha now is looking fantastic. All the succulents, terrific. Here's all my tomatillos. We pulled them out from behind the garage. So they're just adjusting to being outside. This is uh, gonna be, these are my Armenian cucumbers and they're already starting to come up a little. There you go. Just planted those. Here I put in again some more bluebells and this is called a balloon flower. Dandelions here. I want my dandelion tea and the mint. Strawberry spinach out here. This is really a lot of sun for this. I don't know why I did this. So I'll be eating that soon. Uh, I'm getting this pot ready for more lettuce. All right. Banana plant. This is the leafy cabbage. This is really hearty. I like this. This would be fun to put in soups. Here's my, one kind of my arugula is bolting, but the other one isn't, the, the perennial isn't. So I'm gonna just stick with perennial. Uh, here we go, this fennel, how beautiful is that? And I will be making tea, herbs, all kinds of things. I'll be doing wonderful things with this. Uh, some more kale. The basil is looking beautiful. Onions huge. Isn't it pretty? These will be the Chinese long red beans. So I've got them next to this archway so they can climb it. It's a nice fat bee flying around. We got another elephant plant back there. Joe found these cool, they look like rust, uh, looks like rust um, rebar, but it's not. It's just this kind of thin 
rusty looking metal and we put it up so everything can start climbing up it or we can hang things from it. So this plant will start moving over this way and our, our sweet potatoes are starting to grow up it. And look at that, that clematis. How beautiful is that looking? Starting to produce little purple flowers. I don't know if you can see those. Trumpet vine, hydrangea. Look at how beautiful this whole section is now. Of course, the birds, they're gardeners too, and they're planting sunflowers everywhere. Nice, fun little sweet gardeners. And a dianthesis I put in a little cone shaped basket, hung it there. Tall grasses. Back there I have some more Flory Glories and red grass, which again will get transplanted. I'm just letting the mustard bulb. I'm going to be using so many different parts of this, uh, but I will be dealing with that I think tomorrow. It's on my list. Celery looks gorgeous. Uh, Teresa's going to help me dig. It's, it's a bitch to dig back here and she's going to help me with this to put in the great, great plants. I've got moving my eggplants out so they're getting some real sunshine. And then you can see all of my herbs there too. Um, the pond is going nuts. And it's my little flower to bloom again. Pond flower. You have to be careful with this pond lettuce because it's really like invasion of the body snatchers. I mean, this stuff just keeps reproducing. I mean, it looks great, but got to keep an eye on it. You see back there, tomato plants, kale, spinach, peppers, and I put in my sweet potato, sweet potato um, squash over there, so it hasn't come up yet, and that's my peppers in there. So slowly moving things over to the next planting, and I'll move those eggplants out for soon. I'm moving this over to the side of the house, more herbs. I love having my strawberry plants. They put out these little baby strawberries, which are so delicious. Look at this. Look how tiny this guy is. Can you see him? Come on, Pete. Look how tiny. I just ate him. He's delicious. So, The high stuff is really exploding this year. I love this. I'm going to take some of this and put it out in front on the curb. This is one of the last pea plants I'm letting. It's up. Again, these were also nine year old seeds. And um, I'll just be picking the peas. And actually, the parrot loves peas, so I'll be giving the parrot the last of these peas. More tomatillo plants. I'm not going to walk down my potatoes, as you can see, the maybe another week or so I'll be pulling all these out. But you can see that's all beans down there. It's like 16 buckets. And they're sitting in the rain gutter garden, or rain gutter. So I don't have to water them because that's a very difficult place to get into. Why is it warm? You get in these closed spaces. Of course, the beans love it. Lovage. Um, garlic chives. Looking great, huh? So, I just got done making a list on how to keep this all manageable. <laughs> and every day, I just have to focus on something. So, my list... And see it's like I have what I need to do for the day and then I have okay one day I'm gonna focus on mustard greens kale another day spinach cilantro fennel and then what I do is I look up I look up uh, recipes for each one of these um, you know the rhubarb everything and so I begin to make recipes I freeze what I can so this is where it goes into 
you know, worker mode. I mean, I thought it was a lot of work uh, putting in the garden. It's a lot of work harvesting the garden, right? So yeah, um, I'll show you the front and the side uh, in about an hour. I want to finish doing my herbs for the side, and then I'll show you that. But oh, the the hibiscus is blooming. The dahlias are blooming. Um, my space age flower that I can't remember is blooming. My uh, gale, is it called the gale ardia, is blooming. My fever view is blooming. Um, let's see what else. Uh, my ver verbena, my uh, dianthesis. I'm really trying to know my flowers. I was never much of a flower gardener. And uh, so I really am taking the time to know the names of all these plants and uh, just learn more about them so yeah my make my brain bigger which is probably always a good idea all right everybody um nice to be back and radical gardener from my garden to yours may your garden always grow get in your garden it's so wonderful for you and uh sending you a ton of love because i just like doing that okay all right everyone see you soon bye